Hey there, Alexers, and welcome back. If you'd like to get into business, the best way to do it is to learn from others. Without actually going to business school, MBA books are the best way to gain useful insight and up-to-date examples from people that have made it in the market. These are the books that are on plenty of business school curriculums and can give entrepreneurs sufficient knowledge to make informed choices and become better leaders. They also teach you stuff you'll never learn inside the four walls of a classroom. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Here are 15 books that are your personal MBA. Number one, Rework by Jason Fried and David Heinemeyer Hansen. Rework offers a welcome contrast to conventional top-heavy business strategies by demonstrating how a less is more mindset may help you create a profitable firm in less time and with less capital. It reads pretty quickly and simply and anyone interested in business, leadership or entrepreneurship should pick up Rework. Fried and Hansen discuss their accomplishments and expertise in developing digital goods that are utilized globally. Their key lessons include how you don't need too many employees and millions of dollars in funds to build a successful and reputable business. They also touch on how one must often adopt a new perspective and try new things when dealing with their company. Number 2. Blue Ocean Strategy – How to Create Uncontested Market Space and Make the Competition Irrelevant by W. Chan Kim for individuals who don't wish to start a conventional company, the Blue Ocean Strategy gives a step-by-step -step explainer on how enterprises we are all familiar with came to be. Each chapter of the book demonstrates and explains how businesses may discover and create their own Blue Oceans in which they can successfully draw customers in. In most sectors, fierce rivalry is the driving force. As a consequence, competitors engage in violent red ocean warfare over declining revenues. The blue ocean strategy proposes a methodological strategy for rendering one's competitors obsolete by establishing uncontested market space. For founders, business owners, marketers, and anybody else interested in developing distinctive value for their clients, this book is for you. All of the current industries are represented by Red Seas, the recognized market area. Outpacing competition, seizing current demand, segmenting clients based on their preferences, and either providing more value or decreasing prices are some of the strategies described in the book to get you ahead of everyone else. Number 3. The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clausen. Of course this made the list. George Clausen's books have withstood the test of time and proven to be forever relevant in our society. George Clausen's books have withstood the test of time and have proven to be forever relevant in our society. Back in 1926, Clausen wrote a manual on how to get rich. In his book, he gives simple truths that we're familiar with in varying degrees but have not stopped to acknowledge. The Richest Man in Babylon is an entrepreneur's bible for becoming successful. Number 4. Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand Rand's fictional book Atlas Shrugged is a philosophical dissertation that combines elements of reality, imagination and heroism with utopian and anti-utopian emotions. No other book appeals to small business owners in the same way as Atlas Shrug does, as it captures the sweat, blood, and tears of entrepreneurship brilliantly. In the dystopian United States of Atlas Shrugged, private enterprises are burdened by more oppressive rules and regulations. Dagny Taggart, a railroad boss, and Hank Reardon, a steel magnate, fight against looters who seek to take advantage of their industry. Atlas Shrugged is primarily a book that defends free market capitalism and is opposed to socialism. However, it also presents philosophical notions about how to develop into a more useful individual and ensure success in your business beyond all odds. Number 5. Predictably Irrational by Dan Ariely Dr. Dan Ariely examines a variety of topics in our life that we often aren't aware of, including self-defeating behavior, the influence of suggestion, procrastination, and many more. 
the author discusses the illogical acts and impulsive purchases made by consumers, as well as their responses to different incentives. Predictably Irrational reveals the underlying factors that truly influence our actions. These forces are far less logical than we realize, but if we are aware of them, they may help us to manage our money, connect with people more effectively, and grow our business. Number 6. My Life and Work by Henry Ford Henry Ford, the founder of one of the greatest vehicle companies that has stood the test of time, discusses his beliefs and business philosophies, accomplished and unachieved objectives in his autobiography. Ford gives first-hand knowledge that will be helpful in fostering both toughness and an entrepreneurial spirit. My life and work allows you to see into the mind of a guy who, despite spending the first 40 years of his life in obscurity, managed to change the world. It took a lot of time to acquire the technical and human abilities that served as the cornerstone of his large business. Building an effective management team and enterprise management system is made easier with the help of this book. It'll provide you with new and unique perspectives on life and show you new paths you can take. We've got friends at Audible, so here's what we'll do. Go to alux.com slash free book right now. That's alux.com slash free book. If this is your first time signing up, you'll get an audiobook for free. Number seven, Good to Great by Jim Collins. Jim Collins provides readers with a thorough analysis of the best way to respond to corporate issues. He explains how certain business owners use these skills to succeed while others are stuck on those hurdles, earning little to no money. Good to Great is a good read for beginners and professionals alike. The book lays out a strategy for transforming a good, medium, or even mediocre firm into a great one. Some key takeaways of the book include how companies might build up and overcome obstacles that prevent them from becoming great by assembling disciplined individuals, utilizing disciplined ideas, and taking disciplined action. Discipline, 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 Aluxer. The book also introduces you to an approach to problem solving that most successful firms have used over the decades. Number 8. The 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris the 4-Hour Workweek is always on the list of must-reads for lifestyle coaches, and for good reason. The 4-Hour Workweek provides methods to maximize your financial and time independence, offering you more possibilities for a lifestyle. This book is an excellent choice for entrepreneurs unsure of the path they are taking and whether their current work strategy should be revised. Ferris explains that not everyone is cut out for office work and long hours just to make money. The perfect world would include minimal labor, frequent travel, and independence from others. He answers questions like, how can you cut half of your work in 48 hours by using the ideas of a long-forgotten Italian economist? What are the management strategies used by CEOs in remote controls? And how to fill the vacuum left by leaving work and the office and build a meaningful life? Number 9. Think Big and Kick Ass in Business and Life by Donald Trump and Bill Zanker. Prior to the presidency, Trump was known as one of the largest and most successful businessmen in the United States. Purposeful and tough in his position, he achieved an awful lot before taking office. In the book, the authors preach about why it's important to set high standards for yourself and dream big. If you want to earn a ton of money, create an ambitious goal and work toward achieving it. After all, we can only realize the goals that we set. Number 10. Theory U by Otto Scharmer Otto Scharmer's Theory U delves into our habits and leadership traits. Using data from Silicon Valley firms, Scharmer discusses and breaks down the thinking processes in organizations, teams, and people. He teaches that in each system, one is capable of developing the capacity of a leader to address issues from a variety of angles, including economic, spiritual, social, and environmental ones. Leaders must guide themselves and their organizations through a U process in order to learn from the future as it develops. 
This process involves first sinking into the source of their deepest creativity before returning back up to implement their ideas and insights. In Theory U, you'll learn how to communicate with your future self and learn from them as opposed to learning from your mistakes. Number 11. The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham Benjamin Graham is one of the most successful financial and investment gurus of our time. His book, The Intelligent Investor, helps readers develop the appropriate mental and emotional attitudes toward their financial choices by using arguments, examples, and useful ideas. He makes it a point to demonstrate how the average investor can produce a respectable income with little work and skill. Graham talks on the subjects of the differences between entrepreneurship and secure investment, and effective methods and approaches to investing. Additionally, the author discusses psychology and the traits and the temperament of the perfect investor. According to his approach, investors should focus on their portfolio performance and dividend, rather than the noise in the market. Number 12. Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell a business psychology book in which the author describes how social indicators and trends overflowed the edge of the vessel at the critical turning point. Gladwell explains in his book how we have the capacity for original ideas and that anybody can have a considerable impact on the world. The Tipping Point describes how ideas spread and identifies the few components that must come into play for it to reach the critical point when its infectious influence becomes irreversible. When an idea reaches the tipping point, it magically transforms, takes off, and spreads like wildfire. Gladwell exposes us to certain personality types that naturally spread new concepts and how to harness them in your growth and development. Number 13. Customers for Life by Carl Sewell How can you cultivate a devoted customer base? And how can you make your brand profitable without compromising your customers' needs? Sewell's book is simple to read and full of insight for people in the game of service rendering and even consumers alike. Sewell recognizes that customer service is more than just one part of the company and is priority in every company. So in this book, he discusses the attributes you want in an employee, dress code, giving jaw-dropping service, and even educating your clients on what excellent service from you looks like and how to deal with customers who are incorrect. The author thoroughly examines the expectations of the company's workers and consumers in his book, and some important things to note include, if it's for a customer, there's no such thing as after hours, and a successful business requires executing customers' orders correctly the first time and having a plan for what to do if anything goes wrong. Number 14, Business at the Speed of Thought by Bill Gates. Everyone knows the creator of Microsoft Corporation. Bill Gates shares information with readers about building a stable business model and managing a company. The peculiar part of the story is that Gates draws a parallel between the structure of any company and computerization. He believes every organization or enterprise should have a special electronic nervous system. He goes on to explain that this digital nervous system is a conceptual foundation for building a deeper knowledge of the market's difficulties and for planning and implementing the company's response. Through their digital nervous system, businesses will be able to transport information across the whole organization and make business choices as soon as new information becomes available. Number 15. The Startup Owner's Manual by Steve Blank and Bob Dorf the manual for upcoming startups. Numerous charts, tables, templates, and common errors were produced. The Startup Owner's Manual is a step-by-step -step guide for creating a successful, scalable startup. Steve Blank and Bob Dorf discuss how we've been starting companies wrong and how their theory of customer development involves finding problems in the market and offering lasting solutions for them. Now these are the four steps involved. Customer discovery, customer validation, customer creation, and customer building. All right, so if you've made it this far in the list, we've got a bonus for you. One more book that will definitely make it seem like you've got your MBA. Number 16, 
tribes. We need you to lead us by Seth Godin. As Godin says, the secret of leadership is simple. Do what you believe in. Paint a picture of the future. Go there. People will follow. Godin's perspective on leadership, chasing ideas, fear, and overturning the existing order is a must-read for everyone. As humans, it's in our nature to be part of a tribe, giving to and taking from like-minded individuals. Seth Godin makes a compelling case on how, now more than ever, everyone has the chance to start a movement, attract people who think alike, and do remarkable things. He gives details on how to build your own tribe, outlining why they're the future of business, and demonstrating that you too can be a leader. That's all for today's video, Alexers. Tell us down in the comments section which of these books gave you the most insight for your business growth. Thank you for watching this video, Alexer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.